Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews and welcome to Single Card Spotlight. And in this video, what I want to do is I want to talk about another Splinterlands card. And I've been thinking about it and I was thinking about this earlier this morning. What is the best Splinterlands card in the game? And I have an argument that today's Single Card Spotlight is possibly in the running for that card. Now, the card that I want to talk about is kind of a card you might not really expect. It's one of the Alpha Beta cards. It's the Undead Priest. Now, the reason I think the Undead Priest might be in the running for the best card in Splinterlands is... Okay, if you look at just his level 1 version, right? He has the ability Weaken which reduces the health of all en enemy monsters. So what happens is, for two mana, as long as he's on the board, all your enemy all your enemy monsters have one less health. So effectively what this means is, if, if you're competing, if the other team is six creatures, right? Then what happens is, this guy, for two mana, does effectively six damage. So that's initially... For just two mana, you basically knock a point off everything. Now, it's not exactly perfect because if a monster has one, you can't go below one. But any creatures that have two or more get reduced by one. So like twos become one, etc. Here's the other thing. And this is what I say elevates him. Is right here. If you look at his level three, he gets a magic attack. So in addition to doing effectively one damage to all of the enemy monsters at level three so basically in silver he does a magic he has a magic attack for two mana the only really like the a comparable creature would be he's a common i think yeah here we go the goblin shaman for red is really i the the best comparison so if you look at level 1 here, he's 3 mana, he has a little more health, but he has weakened. And he also, at level 3, picks up the magic attack. Now, he's a common versus the Undead Priest being a rare. So there's little tweaks comparison-wise, but for 2 mana, the Undead Priest just seems like an incredible creature. Like I mean, just such a... Such so powerful for what you're what it's costing you, and sadly, since he's a since he's a, a an older card, we're losing him. We'll be losing him for the modern format, but hopefully, Chaos Legion will offer some interesting, you know, new choices. But wow, I was just impressed with how good he is for two mana. Anyway. If y'all have any suggestions or questions, please let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know down in the comments, what's your pick for the best creature in the game? I'm, I'm curious about that because I don't necessarily know if Undead Priest is like the top of my list, but ah, he's got to be in the running because, I mean, he's just so cheap for the, the, the massive impact he has. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I hope you all have an excellent day.